Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy. Today I'm gonna to be trying out four different types of filament and putting them all to the test to see which one will be able to best withstand the hot temperatures inside of a hot car during a hot summer month. And to do that, I decided to use a model that I think could be very useful for a lot of people, and that is a sunglasses visor clip, something that you will be able to set your sunglasses on in case you don't have a dedicated compartment for it inside of your car. And here are the four filaments that I'm going to be using. So first of all, we've got regular old reliable PLA. So this is just black PLA, no additives, straight PLA. The second one that I'm going to use is PETG in this yellow color. The third filament that I'm going to use is ASA. ASA printed in this sparkly green color by Inland. And then the fourth filament that I'm going to be using is TPU. And this is eSun's 95A TPU. And all these models were printed in the exact same way, except for the temperatures that's required because they are different materials, so they need different temperatures in order to print right. But the models themselves are all printed with 100% infill with three walls. So that's all I did. I printed them out, and now I'm gonna take them all to the car, I'm gonna hook them onto the visor, and I'm just gonna leave them alone. And then as the days and possibly weeks, we'll see how long it takes go on, I'm gonna be able to see which one of these will be able to withstand those temperatures without deforming, and which ones deform first, if any. All right, guys, I got all four clips on the visor here. The outside temperature is currently 90 degrees, so it is hotter inside of this car. It's at least 100 to 105 degrees in here right now. So I'm just going to leave it like this and see what happens when, once they've been in there for a while. So just remember ASA, PETG, PLA, and TPU. So I am back in the car about 24 hours later. And as you can see, we already have some deformation happening with the PLA, which is expected. Now, I'm not too sure what the temperature is in here. Outside is about 90 degrees. But if I take this uh, thermal gun and I just give it a quick press, it says it's like 129 degrees kind of in here, depending on where I point it. But if I just point it right here at this filament. This has it at 126 degrees for this uh, ASA, about the same thing for this PETG, for the PLA, you know, saying the same thing, just about it says 127. And then for this TPU up here, this is about 128 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, this is as expected for PLA to be the first thing to fail. The ASA looks like it's holding up all right. PETG looks like it's holding up okay, but it does look a little wobbly right here. The ASA is not moving yet. And then the TPU is all TPUE. So come back tomorrow and see how things are then. Now let's look at these after a handful of days and we can see that the PETG is starting or has already started to warp just like this. It's just gonna get worse from this point on. The ASA model is still holding up. As you can see, it's still tightly clasped to this visor. It's not moving at all. But the PETG has given up. It'll get worse from here. The PLA gave up first and <laughs> it is long gone. And then we have the uh, TPU, which is also sagging more now than it was before. So I think that just about covers it. You know, as you can see here, the ASA filament is the champion of this test. And just as a little aside, this is another ASA filament clip that I actually printed about a week before all of the other ones. And it actually has my wife's sunglasses on here. And this is just like the previous one. It's still maintaining its shape. It is not deforming, even though it's been in here for longer than any of them. And so there you have it. Now, before I get out of here, I do want to show you one more thing that I did print well before I even started this little experiment, and it was with PETG carbon fiber. I had this in the car for 
maybe about three weeks, maybe about a month. And you see how deformed this clip got? Didn't hold up. But at first I thought, well, maybe it's because this is very thin. It's small. Maybe it's not strong enough. So I decided to try to print something that was just thicker, more robust, also with 100% infill. So I printed this big old thing and it did the exact same thing. I mean, just kind of look at them they kind of just deformed in pretty much the same kind of a way. So this is what PETG carbon fiber, so it also didn't hold up in that heat as well as this ASA filament is doing for me so far. Now I know I haven't said anything that's not already common knowledge, something that you can just look up on Google easily and see that ASA has a better heat tolerance than all the other filaments that I tried. But in case you're kind of new to this, or if you just wanted to see an actual real world demonstration of how these filaments hold up in heat, that's what this video was about. So if you're planning on making something that you're gonna put in your car, especially in these hot summer months, please consider using something that is a lot more temperature resistant, such as ASA, and then you'll be able to get a lot more reliable final product compared to those other types of filaments. Thank you all so much for watching. You wanna see more stuff like this, please be sure to subscribe. I always have another one coming down in the pipeline. So until then, please take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.